Hey guys, how's it going? Fred here, I have Math and Engineering, and we're going to do a quick question for you on the power method. So this is uh, just kind of a continuation of our numerical analysis section. All these questions are pretty straightforward, but you know, we're just going to provide you with just a quick explanation and uh, a, another problem to, uh, to practice this from one of our, uh, our, our past finals that we had to do. So let's take a look. So uh, we're asked to use the power method on this matrix A here to determine the dominant eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector. Use 0 0.5, 0 0.85, 0 0.2 transverse as initial guess. Iterate until you're guaranteed at least two, uh, one significant digit in the eigenvalue estimate. Okay, cool. So, well, what's our first step here? First step is uh, we're given this stopping criteria here. Okay, so we're going to need to evaluate the, uh, uh, the stopping percentage error that we're, that we're gonna require. So let's go ahead and let's start with that, okay? So if you remember, the, the formula for that, for epsilon s, is going to be 0 0.5 times 10 to the 2 minus n percent, okay? So since, and where n represents the number of significant digits that, uh, that we want to have of accuracy. So in this case, it's 1. So this is going to be epsilon s equals 0 0.5 times 10 to the 2 minus 1, which is 1 percent, and that is equal to 5 percent. Okay, so as long as the uh, as long as uh, epsilon a, so the absolute relative error of the, uh, our iterations is less than five, uh, we can stop, and we've satisfied the requirement. So let's go ahead and let's do our first iteration. This is really really straightforward stuff. Uh, I'm not going to take too much time on this. I'll just show you how to do it. So x naught, okay, which is our initial guess. That's what we're given. Okay, uh, I'm just going to write first iteration here. Okay, so x naught, which is uh, going to represent our initial guess, is given to us as uh, for the eigenvector, is 0 0.5, 0 0.85, 0 0.2, transverse. Okay, so all we need to do in this case is we just need to multiply this matrix by this, and that's that's uh, going to be the first step towards our first iteration. So we're going to start with that. We'll just rewrite the matrix here for 0, 2, 1, 0, 0. Okay, 0 0.5, 0 0.85, 0 0.2. Okay, so uh, I, at this point, I just want to uh, show you a little, I don't know if um, you know how to use uh, your calculator to, to multiply matrices. If you don't have this calculator, it's probably gonna be different, but I just wanted to show you maybe how to do it on this calculator if you have this brand. I know this is a popular brand. So let's go ahead and start with that. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the math button here. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna click on the mode button. And I'm going to go over to mat, okay, for matrix, and I'm going to push equals. And then that little mat square is going to appear up there. And what I'm going to do now, okay, is I'm going to push this, use this white, uh, these white arrows, and I'm going to push down here. And that's going to give me a category to input how many rows I want, okay? So uh, first I'm going to put my A matrix in, okay, which is uh, a 3 by 3 matrix. And the M plus button, that's going to store the values, okay? Uh, not equals, it's going to be M plus. So, okay, we have three rows. I want to put it in three columns. And then going uh, for, through the rows, so it's going to go one, one, zero, four. So starting at the rows and then going right, uh, I'm just going to input all the values. And then every time I input one, I'm just going to push M plus. Okay, so we have one, one, zero. Okay, now we go to the second row, four, zero, two, one, zero, zero. Okay, all right, so now you can just press on, you can clear everything. That's all stored in there, uh, but we do need to save it, okay? So I'm gonna push this math button. I'm gonna go to store, which is number two. I'm gonna go mat A. So I'm gonna store it in the mat A category of the calculator. Okay, that's done. Okay, so now uh, we just want to store the next matrix so that we can multiply them both together. That's gonna be this one here. And as we can see, this has a uh, three rows and one column. So three rows is the same, M plus, but we only have one column now. Okay, and as you can see, the this is just gonna the age uh, i j kind of um, subscript here is gonna indicate where you are in the matrix. So the first uh, term is 0.5. Then we're gonna go down a row. We have 0.85 and 0.2. And same thing, we're gonna press uh, on math store, but we're gonna store it in mat b. And that's it. And then uh, if you want to multiply the two matrices together, you just go to um, mat, okay, which is zero. And we want to multiply mat A, so press 0 times mat B. That's it. Okay, and uh, that's going to give us our answer for our first eigenvalue. Okay, so as we can see, 
so our eigenvector, and 3, 5, press down, we have 2.4, and 0 0.5. Okay, so that's just something I wanted to show you. I'm not going to do that again, but uh, just for your own knowledge. That's the product of these two matrices. And uh, what we're going to do now to get the eigenvalue uh, is we're going to factor out the absolute value largest number from this matrix. Okay, And that is going to be uh, 2.4, obviously. So we're going to take the 2.4 out. Okay, And we're going to write um, just the factors of that in, in the, uh, the, the matrix, or the vector in this case. So that is going to be, okay, so that's just you know 1.35 divided by 2.4. Eight, and then we have a bunch of threes continuing here. And uh, so that is, this is going to be our first estimate for the eigenvector. And first estimate for the eigenvalue. Okay, perfect. So that's our first eigenvalue estimate, and that's our first eigenvector uh, estimate, all right? So there is really nothing to compare this to in terms of uh, our absolute relative error. Uh, so we're, we're not going to do that, all right? We can't really check to see if we can stop. We need to do one more iteration before we can do that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this one much faster. That's just the general process. It's, it's exactly the same thing. We're going to take our original uh, matrix A, 4, 0, 2, but now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by the new uh, estimate for the eigenvector, not the initial one. So we're going to multiply by this here, this vector, 5, 6, 2, 5, 1, and 0 0.2083333. 3, 3, 3, 3. And uh, you, know, you might be wondering how many 3s do I need to write. Um, just put as many 3s in as your calculator can handle. Okay. So in my case, it's like, I don't know, 8 digits or something like that. I would just keep writing 3s until it stops just so I, may, I make sure that I, you know, I'm not making any rounding errors. And the product of these two matrices, you can try in your calculator, is going to be... All right, so uh, we'll, we'll just do exactly the same thing that we did. We're going to factor out the largest uh, value in this vector, which is going to be 2.6666. And I'll just do that down here. Okay. And factoring that out, we are going to be left with And this is going to be second estimate. OK, so uh, that's, that's, uh, we have the second estimates here. And now we can actually evaluate our uh, absolute relative error. OK, and that is just simply going to be uh, this uh, estimate of the eigenvalue. OK, minus, uh, just put as many sixes in as you can in your calculator, minus the first estimate, which is 0 0.4 divided by the, the estimate currently that we have, okay? And that is going to be equal to 10%, roughly, which is uh, actually greater than our epsilon s, or stopping criteria. So we can't stop right now, okay? We need to do one more estimate. And, okay? And uh, I'm not really going to write this whole thing out. All right, you have uh, a multiplied by this vector here. Okay, our second estimate for the eigenvector, and that is going to give us, if you factor it out, 2.76. You try that on your own. I don't want to bore you guys. Six two five. Okay, and this is third eigenvector third eigenvalue. Okay, and uh, if we go ahead and calculate, if we go ahead and calculate our uh, absolute relative error for this, okay, we just have minus uh, this estimate here, okay, which is 2.66. Okay, and that is going to give us a value of 3.6. Okay, and that's less than um, ES, so, or epsilon S, so we're good. So we can say, um, and this is a little small space to write the final answer, but I'm going to go ahead and do it down here. You just need to give uh, the, the marker the, a, a little bit of a final answer, okay? Just so they understand you know what you're doing. So you can say the 
eigenvalue, we'll just say sub 3, okay, because this is the third iteration here, is equal to, what do we have here, 2.765625 with eigenvector, and uh, we'll just write this 0 0.5, I'll just round it right now, because I don't have enough room, 1, but can include all the digits when you normally do it, 0 0.5. Two one one eight six transverse. Okay, so I know that's kind of small, but uh, I'm sure you can read that still. Ran out of room at the bottom there, but that's fine. The the purpose of this is just to kind of explain to you the steps that you need to take in order to you know solve a question using the power method. Like I said, really straightforward, not much to it. Thanks for watching.